Welcome to Swarf and Chips. We've got a great show lined up for you today, but it's slightly condensed because there's something very exciting happening here at MTD Towers that you're going to be finding out a little bit more about later on. However, I'm very excited because it's Goldilocks and I'm joined by the three bears. Mm. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Paul, what bear are you? Uh, essentials. Bear essentials. Very good. Mark? Gummy bear. <laughs> I like that one. Uh, you're sweet and... <laughs> you, you, no, no, not at all. Uh, I don't know. Bear all. Bear, bear with me. Bear with me. Bear with we, me. We do that all the time, though, Joe. We can't yeah. Really. yeah, bear with me. <laughs> they certainly had all the porridge. <laughs> Food again. What were you doing in the woods the other day? <laughs> he was, he was, bear, he was bear, <laughs> looking for my... He's bearing all then. Looking yeah. for my red coat. <laughs> Anyway, let's kick start the show. 10 videos, 10 minutes. You know the rules, 10 minutes. It's going to be even harder this time because all of you are chatterboxes and you've only got a minute. So first one, I don't know what you're doing here, Paul, but Star, new facility, talk to me about it. Shotgun. Right, Star GB, they're a leading supplier of CNC sliding heads in the UK marketplace. And their plate, the old place was fine, but this place is much, much better. It's con considerably bigger. They've got more machines in stock, more demos. And yeah, it's there for customers to go and see. It's in Derby, right on the motorway next to uh, Rolls Royce. So go Great and take a look. Great part of that as well. You can see that's all, all of the parts what is of it? that. What it, is it? It's a lightsaber. Uh, all of the parts on that have been made on the star sliding head lathes <clears throat> on various different machines. One thing they, t they talk about on here, or you talk about on here, single source. Correct, yeah. That, that's a big thing for them this year. It's the fact that they're looking at supplying a solution, so it bar feeds, tooling, turnkeys, because engineers want that these days. They want a, a machine to hit the deck and make parts straight away. Interestingly, not mentioned on this video, Star are flying. They are selling loads of machines at the moment. It's kind of a very... Mm sort of silent path to this phenomenal success that they're having. And this is part of it, this new place, selling loads of kit at the moment. So it's very, very... <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. What a good start. Oh, right. good start. So next video, we're talking about the Murata machine sold by Matsura. They call it a production workhorse. Paul, sell me the machine. That's exactly what it is. It is a production workhorse. Uh, this, this fits beautifully into Matsura's portfolio of products because it's a very high quality premium end uh, production turning center, two turrets, two spindles, y-axis, plus or minus 30 mil. You've got driven tool capability, one hip machining on this machine of volume components. Interestingly, the machine has a gantry as well, which can take the parts off the machine ready for the next process. Where does this compete then? There is, I, I mentioned to Mark, I said, are they jumping into a crowded uh, market here? Because there are lots of twin turret machines uh, mm. available in the marketplace. And he, he agreed, he said, yes, we are. But they're confident in what they sell. Mm. They make quality parts. They needed a machine like this to complement their Matsura product. And as Matsura are this year, they're selling lots more machines other than just Matsuras. What's the capacity of the machine? So these Murata machines, they can either be kind of two inch bar or three inch bar machines. So they're ideally fitting into that sort of production environment. Machines fed with a bar feed, and as I say, it's got a gantry over the top of the machine. So you've got the ultimate in solution. It's there. great for Matt. So you imagine being the, 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 the rep, the guy that goes out selling an MX330. I want to buy a lathe. I haven't got one. Well, no, they've got one. No, you have. So, yeah. Tell him off. I'm not. He's bigger than me. <laughs> okay. Next video is the Vizi software CAD CAM waveform cutting. Why would I invest in this software? Well, Vizi claim a saving of 58% uh, cycle time saving. There we go, 58%. Good, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> Against a traditional milling strategy. They're reducing the radial depth of cut, they're burying the tool, so using the full cutting edge of the, uh, the end mill, like we see here. And it's the and part, it's part of the tool as well, isn't it? Yeah, it just advanced roughing strategies basically, but it's it's similar to tracoidal milling. There are some differences, but you know, other companies do have a similar strategy. But it, it's very good from busy. It is very good. And it's it's about metal removal. It yeah. comes back to something we always talk about. You got it. You 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 got a piece of metal. You need a finished component. How are you going to get it from 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 one to the other? And and roughing is an integral part of that, of course. And the quicker you can rough a component, the better. And I think that's really what this, this video was, uh, or what the guys here wanted to get across. And Vera Software are quite a big group anyway, with lots of other, like Edgecam, for instance. You know, they're, they're really, really sort of strong company on the software. A bit of a one-stop window when you go there. 
Factory with Software. You were talking to Ben about this. Now, I need to read this, but machine monitoring software, it reduces machine downtime. They make the machines run more efficiently. And basically, what he's trying to say is making the most out of the working hours of the machine. Correct. Lots of, well, the majority of engineering companies you go into in, in the UK that are running CNC machine tools will experience downtime, that the machine's not cutting. And really what, what Factory Wiz is about is making sure you're optimising the opportunity to make those spindles turn more. We talk about spindles turning, that's what Ben's software does. Uh, so it's about looking around, uh, you know, what's happening in the machine, the cutting tool, the work holding, everything within the machining environment to basically reduce any downtime to get the to So get monitoring, the basically. Cutting. It's monitoring software, and the idea behind this presentation here from Ben is that they've now added more machines, including the brother, to the list of machines that you can use in conjunction with his software. Massive, massive savings. Three-month payback. Any brand of machines? Pretty much any brand of machine you can run with, and as I say, with this, they were talking about the brother. I liken it a bit like when you're driving somewhere to go, uh, to go somewhere, you always look for the fastest route. Why wouldn't you? You save fuel, you save all those things, and this is very similar to really the analogy. It's, it's all about the data, isn't it? The data it gives you, and without trying to sound, sorry, without trying to sound cliche, you can't fix something, you can't measure, yeah. and you know, without data, you're just a bloke with or lady with even an opinion, if, it's all about if, the data. Even if your, 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 your engineers are coming in and making a cup of tea from half past seven till 25 to eight in the morning, that's five minutes of dead time. Factory Wiz can do things like, you know, even, even say that you, you, they need to start at half seven, you're losing five minutes times X is three hours a week. So when you come here in the morning, when you come here in the morning, you don't want to be making a cup of tea. <laughs> Ben will like it. Thank yeah. you, yeah. Joff. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Mavac, the Multiplex W200Y. They've been producing these machines for over 30 years. So what are the improvements? One thing on here, you've got two doors. So uh, presumably you can actually run two jobs. Is that correct? That is absolutely spot on. It's the whole idea behind this machine. It is a twi There's two turrets and there's two spindles. And a lot of people would associate two turrets and two spindles with a twin turret machine. And that's what this is, but essentially you've got two working areas. So you can machine one part on the front and one part on the back, or you can use it for the, for the same job to do OP1 and OP2, or you can do two different jobs. Pretty unique concept. And to, to steal one of your phrases, it's ultimate flexibility, isn't it? It's that one word again, ultimate flexibility. But coupled with that, it's ultimate ease as well, that's smooth C control. I don't know if you've looked into that, it's really straightforward to program. So you've got flexibility and also the great and new control. And the spindles here, the, the front back spindle, they move, uh, the, the axes move in to, towards the turret rather than the turrets moving. Yeah, it's unique, isn't it? That? It, it yeah. is a unique concept and they've got a gantry on this machine as well for loading, which you'd probably need with the type of parts that this is machining. And I think he even said that over 50, <laughs> Over 50 percent of the machines are sold with gantries, and why wouldn't you? I think there was a kind of told you and that. And a there. small footprint for the cell as well. Yeah, yeah, we're really out of moving on. It's because there's three of you. Um, really worth watching that video, actually. So it's the Multiplex W200Y yeah. from Mazak. So next up is the Hypermill. Now they were working on a hard inch bridge port and, and basically it's a really technical cut, and they're really praising the Hypermill Max machining, aren't they? Well. This is all about deep pockets, unlike his trousers when you go to the, the, the bar, nothing comes out whatsoever. But the, these guys, are, you know, the, the software that these guys provide for most engineers is fantastic. Deep pockets, short arms. Let's start the minute from now. But yeah, thanks for that. But yeah, this is about, this is about using barrel tools in conjunction with a, a, you know, a five axis machining center in order to remove material, reduce cycle times of up to 90%. We do talk about it a lot and we talked about CAD CAM a lot on this show. It just shows you what an impact it's having in for engineers to reduce their cycle times and get parts quicker. The, the main thing Simon's pointed in the part here, this was about they were experimenting doing different depths of cut. And when they were doing that, they were looking to see what the surface finishes were gonna be like and show engineers actually what great surface finishes you can get from deep cutting um, strategies. And that's really what this video is about. 
efficient metal removal, great surface finishes using the Hypermill Max machining strategy and nothing to do with the depth of my pockets. Yeah, with, uh, with, with, CAD, with CAD CAM there's quite often a crossover, they've got different names of products that are very similar, but the Hypermill Max machining, to my knowledge, there's nothing else out there. And if you're doing a deep pocket like that and maybe there's a draft angle on it, there is no way doing it quicker. Yeah, mm. there is no getting way into the corners, you know, yeah. it's ideal. Okay. Lubriserve. Now I know we've been, we've met Richard already, but this is a bit of a corporate video that he's had here, isn't it? It's exactly that. They've gone through a big transition recently. Lubriserve and mergers and, and, and other things. Go to their website for more information on that. Yeah, Lubriserve are a great example of how they don't just supply one product. They supply lots and lots of different products: industrial vacuums, coolant solutions. They put people on site. They've got a new app. Well, they also offer a full fluid service basically at Midlands Aerospace. This is what the video is about, isn't it? Yeah, it was, they mentioned the Aerospace and a couple of other customers on there basically saying, look, I can tell you this, but why not listen to our customers? And that's Joe's sample. He did the one on the left after he'd done it on the one on the right. He looks a bit dehydrated actually, <laughs> doesn't he? <laughs> it was a night after a night out, I think yeah, it must have been. Must have been. But yeah, they also have a lab. <laughs> yeah. And it is interesting to see the amount of products that they supply for that fluid solution, isn't it? Swarf spinners and all the things we've spoken about. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of success with XS9, which is a neat cutting oil for, in particular, sliding head lays where they're seeing large um, increases in tool life and, mm. and, and surface finish. Yeah, that felt really cool. Um, what I will say, and just to add to it, because I'm allowed to cheat, um, is um, some quotes from some of the guys who they interviewed, and they said, you know, that the tool life was go incredible. It was going from two to three hundred parts to five to six hundred parts. Cycle times were, re were reduced, and there was such an evident return on investment. So great corporate video for them. So next up, we're going over to Coventry, and of course, it's the new headquarters for Fanuc, isn't it? Doesn't he look like Bob the Builder? With that hat on. <laughs> yeah, he needs his lo lollipop stick again. <laughs> well, one thing with Fanuc, I mean, they're right next door to the MTC, Anstey Park. It's a fantastic new building. It's 8,000 square feet, and they're going to be putting a million pounds worth of machines in there to, to oh. demonstrate. That's just the showroom that Mark's talking about there. The whole, the whole site is monstrous, absolutely monstrous. Well, I watched this video for the first time last night, and they're not going to fill that building. They are. It's massive. It's huge. But you've got to think that Fanuc, Fanuc as a solution provider, we're talking robotics, we're talking machine tools, injection moulding. It can be everything. It can be anything. It's just vast though, isn't it? They, and they need to because the sales uh, it, over the... We had a press release on the website the other day. Sales of robo drills in the last year have gone through the roof. I mean, this company is extremely successful at the moment. Well, they said in there they've got showrooms, training, hands-on training as well, manufacturing integrated solutions all going in there, and it's going to be the headquarters for all the UK staff as all well. All the staff are going to be there. Look at the size of it. It's huge. Jesus. And they went to open uh, in uh, April or to the public. Last but by no means least, we've got Malin. They created the Pallet Master. Mark, Tess. Yeah, Steve, Steve's father actually uh, designed this because there wasn't anything on the market, so that, that's what this product's about, actually, and it's absolutely fantastic, and really good for the subcontracting market, actually. Mm. Is oh. Col Colin lost his legs? Or, yeah, or, that, say, or, is that bloke, or is that bloke tall? He's very big. It is about flexibility here, and it's about productivity. You can see bolt them to any machine tool, uh, yeah. and the pallet loads in, and you take the pallet out, uh, and it is about giving you that versatility, isn't it? He, he's really tall, isn't he? <laughs> it works with different fixtures as well, don't they? They work with Microlock on top as well, so you can get multiple parts and changing. It's quite efficient. Yeah, I'll be honest with you. The first time I watched the video, I thought, what's the point? If you've got an operator there, you may as well load the components. But then you start to think, and how about if there's multiple components, you're nesting, the spin, the, you are going to have spindle downtime. So I, I think it's a good idea. And it's yeah. very popular. There, yeah. there, there are thousands of them. They sell them a lot in the UK, but he was also selling in Scandinavia as well, which was yeah. quite interesting. Mm. So, and go on any machine. Go on any machine tool. Here, it's, you'll see it in the house, but you can go on any machining centre. Tall order for Colin, that interview. <laughs> what a great way to finish. It has been a laugh today. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for today, guys. And of course, we've got that announcement to make. And the, the big announcement is the fact that we're moving the set to a bigger and better studio. So the whole show's been condensed because we've got to go. Go on, clear off. See, on. that's it. Oh. Got to go. The builders are in. <laughs> the builders are in. See you later. Oh, by the way, uh, keep those spindles turning. And don't forget to tune in next week. New, bigger, better studio. Hey, you, hurry up. Come on.